All right. Shalom, shalom. First and foremost, before I get started, as always, I want to give all praises, honor, and glory unto Yahweh Bashim Al Shai, Wahawakwadash, which Yahweh is the name of the Heavenly Father, Yahweh Shai, that's whom the world ignorantly calls Jesus Christ, it's his true name, and the Rachakwadash, that is the Holy Spirit. And I also want to give double honors to the apostles and the elders of Great Millstone, who rule and teach well in the scriptures. And salutations to all the brothers out there who are pushing his word in all truth and in all sincerity. And today I just want to get into a lesson on how no matter you know what things the Lord throws at you, you got to keep pushing. And pretty much, I uh, <laughs> you know I got my three piece, I guess you could say, you know from the Lord recently. All right, and actually, and then some, you know, and um. You know, the main things, though, that, that's happened to me recently is, you know, I've been uh, dealing with a uh, sickness for the past month, but the last two weeks, I've been uh, I've been affected by it, which that led me not to, to work, basically. And, um, of course, now that's affecting my finances. And, you know, out of the blue, my breaks, you know, just, you know, ended up, uh, 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 you know, going out, all right, you know, of course, breaks, you know, they cost a little bit of money, all right, and like I said, I've been, you know, pinching pennies right now, because I haven't been, you know, working really for the past two weeks, and, um, you know, these are just the, the trials and tribulations that, you know, you got to go through, all right, and, you know, you know, and I'll say this, older brothers understand this, but, you know, just giving you, you know, you younger brothers a heads up that, you know, the Lord may hit you with several things at once. You know, the Lord doesn't necessarily have to do one thing at a time. You know, the Lord can just, like I said, give you a little combo real quick. All right. And give you that combo. And uh, it, it's not going to feel too good, you know, but, you know, these things are necessary. All right. Hey, these things are a necessity to our walk because ultimately these things make us better, all right? But, um, you know, ultimately, you know, we got to uh, uh, still keep pushing. You know, we still got to keep pushing through all these trials and tribulations, all, uh, all the adversities that come our way, you know? You can't just, you know, throw in the towel because, you know, uh, you're not feeling well. Or your, you know, your finances are low. Or your love life, so to speak, is in shambles. You know what I'm saying? Okay? Whatever it may be, you can't just throw in the towel. And you, you got to, you know, pray. You know, you might have to fast. Hey, ponder your steps. And, um, you know, hey, hey, take some action. Okay? But, um... I'm going to start off with this scripture here, uh, Romans 8 and 35. Who shall separate us from the love of Yahweh Shai? Shall tribulation or distress or persecution or famine or nakedness or peril or sword? As it is written, for thy sake we are killed all the day long. We are accounted as sheep for the slaughter. Nay, in all these things we are more than conquerors through him that loved us. For I am persuaded that neither death nor life, nor angels nor principalities, nor powers nor things present, nor things to come, nor height, nor death, nor any creature shall be able to separate us from the love of Yahweh, which is in Yahweh Shai, Hamashiach, our Lord. All right. So if you're part of the elect, no matter what comes your way, you're not going to be separated, all right, from Yahweh Bashim Al Shai. Okay? You know, hey, you, you got to remember, hey, if we receive the good, shall we not receive, the, you know, the evil? All right, I believe that's in Job, uh, is that Job 2 or Job 1? Uh, let me see if it's in Job 2. There we go. Get straight to the point. This is uh, Job 2 and 10. But he said unto her, Thou speakest as one of the foolish women uh, speaketh. What? Shall we receive 
good at the hand of the Most High and shall not receive evil? And all this did not Job sin with his lips. And you see, you know, the Lord's all about balance. You know, yes, there's times where the Lord blesses us and, you know, we get, you know, some, uh, some goods of this world, so to speak. All right. You know, the Lord gives you, you know, a little woman. All right. You start dealing, you know, with that. You know, the Lord might, might throw you a, 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 a nice job or a, a promotion or you might get a bonus. You know. Lord gives you so-called good days, you know, where everything's running smooth. Okay. But then the Lord will, you know, hit you. All right. Hey, you might, you know, uh, you know, uh, uh, give you a, you know, a sickness, a disease. He may take, you know, your money away. He may take your woman, your kids away. He may, you know, uh, cause, you know, disruption in the brotherhood. You know, things, you know, occur. Okay. Things occur. Hey, this is not a, uh, a smooth ride that we're on. Okay. You know, this is what the Lord you know, has put in front of us. Much trials and tribulations. All right, let's get that real quick in the book of Acts. This is Acts 14 and 22. Confirming the souls of the, of the uh, disciples and exhorting them to continue in the faith. And that we must, through much tribulation, enter into the kingdom of the Most High. See, we got to go through much tribulation, okay? You know? All right. We got to go through much uh, a tribulation. Even the Apostle Paul had mentioned it, that how he went through, like, you know, basically several things. I know one of them, he mentioned that he was shipwrecked, all right? Let me see if I can find it. I think it's in Corinthians, maybe 2 Corinthians. Just forget where it's at exactly. But like I said, the, the Apostle Paul talked about his, you know, trials and tribulations. And he, he was going through a lot. You know, he, he dealt with... Um, Here we go. Let me just read it. No, let's start at 22. All right, yeah, let's start here. This is uh, <coughs> 2 Corinthians 11 and 22. Are they Hebrews? So am I. Are they Israelites? So am I. Are they the seed of Abraham? So am I. Are they ministers of Yahweh Shai? I speak as a fool. I am more. In labors more abundant, in stripes above measure, in prisons more frequent, in deaths often. Of the Jews, five times I received 40 stripes save one. Thrice was I beaten with rods. Once I was stoned. Thrice I suffered shipwreck. A night and a day I have been in the deep. In journeyings often. In perils of waters. In perils of robbers. In perils by my own countrymen. In perils by the heathen. In perils in the city. In perils in the wilderness. In perils in the sea. In perils amongst false brethren. In weariness and painfulness, in watching often, in hunger and thirst, in fasting often, in cold and nakedness. All right, so this is what the Apostle Paul was going through. Okay, you know he he dealt with a lot of labors. Okay, and he was getting whipped. He was in prison. You know he he ended up dying. Okay. And the Lord ended up, you know, putting the spirit back in him. All right. The point being, though, hey, he technically, <laughs> you know, he passed. But like I say, hey, the Lord, he threw his uh, spirit back in his body, though. You know, 
All right, he's been shipwrecked, dealt with lots of journeys and per- you know, dealt with a lot of perils, you know, with robbers and his own, you know, kind and heathens and so on and so forth. And that's what we go through as well. All right, as men of the Lord, you know. So this is nothing. Uh, the things that you go through are are, are are nothing. One new, and then two, you know, it, it's not uh, out of the ordinary. Okay, remember that. You know, hey, I'll say this: Hey, could they be rough? Yes, I'm not saying things aren't. You know, you know, uh, 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 you know, just automatically easy. No, it's, it, 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 these trials and tribulations could be very taxing. Okay. But through the spirit and power of Yahweh Al Shai, we're going to get through all things. Okay? Hey, we just got to remain faithful and keep fighting. And the Lord is going to fight for us. You know? That's what you always have to remember. You know? Keep fighting for the Lord. And He's going to fight for, uh, for thee. This is uh, Sirach 4 and 28. Strive for the truth unto death, and the Lord shall fight for thee. You see? You just got to keep striving for the truth and the death. Okay? Just keep pushing, keep fighting, keep doing what you're supposed to do. And the Lord is going to keep fighting for you. Okay? You know? That's what you, you have to do. All right? Can't, um... Can't, like I said, you just can't, you know, throw in the towel because... You're going through some bad times. A, a, a acceptable men are tried in the furnace of adversity. That spiritual affliction. All right. That furnace of affliction. You, you just got to, you know, a, a, a deal with the fire. And Lord willing, hey, you come through it and become a better man. All right. But, um. You know, I'm going to end the lesson. You know, we don't have to keep pouring out a, you know, but, you know, a million precepts. I think, you know, the brothers get the point. All right. Hey, just keep fighting, brothers, man. You know, you know, you're going to go through things in this truth. And it gets it gets rough at times, especially I'll say this, you know, for brothers who are who are sick. It's it's not easy. You know, I, like I said, I'm going through something and I've, I've dealt with this before and it's just it's rough, man. It's rough. And I know brothers got even heavier, you know, uh, diseases than me, man. So I can only imagine what they're going through. Hey, li li living a, a sickly life is not, it's not fun, man. You know, all the other things, I'm not saying that they're easy, but they're a little more tolerable, you know, in my opinion. Being sick is not, it's not fun, man. You know, weak in the body, <laughs> You know, losing your strength, your energy, you, you know, your your desire to, you know, to do stuff. You know what I'm saying? It, it, it sucks. Hey, but, you know, you just got to keep pushing no matter what. All right. But um, I'm going to end this lesson. Hey, hey, brothers and sisters, hey, just keep fighting. And with that, I'm going to give all praises, honor, and glory unto you. How about you, Shai? Also, double honors to the apostles and the elders of Great Millstone and salutations to all you brothers out there. Shalom.